What's up, y'all? You're watching Union Minded. I'm your host, Eric, and today I want to talk to y'all about why I'm such a homer for the labor movement and the IBEW in general. But before I jump into that, don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, drop some comments, ask some questions, share the videos, ring the notification bell, do all those things you need to do to grow the channel and to grow our uh, sphere of influence so that we can't spread the message of uh, labor solidarity and hope to improve the working conditions of working folks. Why the hell am I such a homer? I experienced what labor can do to save a family from a destiny of poverty. I've witnessed it worst ha firsthand. I lived through it. And why I'm even bringing it up is because I've gotten a few new subscribers. I'm sure there's folks out there that are coming across my channel for the first time and don't know much about me. So for the folks that do watch my channel, you probably heard this story already. But for those who are new and are just getting into the uh, room, let me uh, tell you a little bit about my background and again, why I go so hard for labor. I grew up in a, in a regular household until the age of about five when my parents split. My dad wasn't in my life when I was very young and my mom went to work as a custodian cleaning schools, making very low wages. Uh, we eked out survival. I recall that th we had family members that were doing quite well in life, but we were still eking out survival. I remember uh, family members who were doing illicit activities and doing well in life. And we still eked out a living, a survival. <clears throat> I remember Thanksgiving out of a cardboard box because we had depended on donations some years. I remember shopping for school clothes out of uh, donation bags because some years it was like that. It was hard living. There was always want. There was always need. Um, it wasn't easy. Coming from that background, I went to the workforce because I didn't want to go into the military. I went into the workforce. However, I knew nothing about unions because it wasn't common knowledge. It was almost like a secret society that nobody talked about. That there were unions. There was a way for you to make better money and a, a fair life that didn't require you to go to college and spend a bunch of money to, to get a degree. No idea. So I went into the workforce. Went to the want ads. And what did I see? Security. I went and became a security guard. Unarmed. So I didn't make much money. Um, as a security guard, the building I worked at went under renovations. The contractor that came in to do the electrical work was an IBEW contractor called Phase Masters Inc. out of Miami, Florida. The foreman, I don't know what he saw in me. I don't know if he was just organizing. I don't know what the hell, but he came up to me and asked me what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. After a short conversation, I was at the IBEW filling out an application. Shorter time after that, I was back at the same post that I worked security, but at this time I was an electrical apprentice. Fast forward a few years, I didn't finish apprenticeship in Miami. I fell in love with a girl from New York. I moved to New York and found out that I couldn't get into the local in New York. I didn't, I didn't follow the proper channels. And so I went back to the non-union sector to work. I found that the non-union sector, even though it was a better job because I was doing electrical work now, still did not offer me a living that was outside of poverty. Still want, still need. It wasn't until I got into the IBW in Virginia and graduated and became an IBW journeyman that I actually finally realized a life where the wants are now luxury items instead of I gotta find, figure out how I'm gonna feed my family. There is a book that I'm reading called There's Power in a Union and I came across this um, paragraph in chapter three. Uh, the chapter is called We Mean to Have Eight Hours. But this paragraph encapsulates my feelings of how I view the labor movement and the IBEW and why I'm so um, passionate about the growth of the labor movement, the plight of working people and especially the working poor. The labor movement is the only thing that keeps us from being modern day slaves. It's the only thing that ever changed the lives of working people. So let me uh, read you this quick paragraph. To Terence V. Powderly, Grandmaster Workman of the Knights of Labor, the group's philosophy, an injury to one is a concern to all, always held a special meaning. His conversion to the necessity of labor unity had occurred on September 6, 1869, as he watched the bodies of the 179 victims of the Avondale Mine disaster brought to the surface and returned to their grieving families. 
A 20-year-old railroad machinist, Powderly, had until that moment felt, quote, no more cause for complaint of ill treatment in the shop I worked in than hundreds, other, hundreds of other young men. And had I considered my own selfish interests alone, it is quite likely I would have never affiliated with any labor organization. But when I saw a mother kneel in silent grief to hold the cold, still face of her boy to hers, and when I saw her fall lifeless on his dead body, I experienced a sensation that I have never forgotten. John Siney of the Workers' Benevolent Association spoke to the gathered sufferers, and powderly thought he saw Christ in Siney's face, and heard a new sermon on the mount. I there resolved to do my part, humble though it may be, to improve the condition of those who worked for a living. My experience with poverty, living in it, knowing that it was no fault of my mother's, she worked hard. It was no fault of any of us. We just were stuck. And it was a constant want and a constant need. And knowing and experiencing that it wasn't anything but the labor movement and the IBW that offered me a path out of it is what invigorates my soul and what motivates me because I know that the labor movement is the only way will improve the lot of working people. My name's Eric. You're watching Union Minded. Let's keep in mind the fight is not left and right. It's up and down. It's going to take solidarity to win always. Each one teach one. Get out there and reach one. And please keep in mind there can be no union without you and I front and center. Peace.